So it's been some time since I've done a uh, phone repair video and today what we've got here is a uh, iPhone 6 in need of a new screen. So I'm going to take you through the steps to replace your own screen on your iPhone 6 and uh, a few tips as well before we begin that will actually make it a little bit easier for you. Um, it's not a hard job to replace the iPhone 6 screen, it's probably the uh, easiest screen repair on an iPhone for quite some time. It's certainly easier than the uh, iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. It's uh, probably as easy as the iPhone 5, although the iPhone 5S with the uh, fingerprint sensor was a little bit more fiddly trying to get that ribbon in there but um, this it really is an easy repair. So the first thing you want to do is actually make sure you've got a uh, clear afternoon where you're not going to get disturbed to actually uh, do this and uh, make sure you've got a nice big work area like a dining room table and you've got plenty of space to lay out all your screws and parts. So the second thing you want to do is actually draw around your iPhone a couple of times on a sheet of A4 paper and uh, lay this to one side and then when you'll take your iPhone apart and you've got your little screws you can lay them out on these uh, two patterns here then when you actually come to uh, put your iPhone back together again it makes it a lot easier uh, to actually uh, put the iPhone together again because you're not working out where the screws actually go if you just lay them out in the general area there's not that many as I say it makes it a uh, lot easier to put it back together again now the next thing you want to do is take a close look at your iPhone and this one's quite badly smashed on the screen but I've had a good look around the sides here and there's no dings in the aluminium frame at all. If there are some dings in the aluminium frame you're going to have to get rid of those before you fit your new uh, screen glass on there because uh, it either won't fit properly or uh, you'll actually break the new glass trying to fit it in to the uh, bent frame so have a good look around make sure it's all nice and straight if it isn't you're going to have to ground them out or uh, something like that file them out just to get uh, enough space in there so you can actually fit the new screen back in again so this is the new screen that we're going to use to fix our iPhone 6. Now I got this off eBay for £32, free shipping and uh, this one actually comes with no accessories so we're going to have to transfer the camera and uh, the little speaker and other parts onto this. If you don't want to go to the trouble of actually doing that you can get one that's uh, fully populated on the back here for around double the price of one that isn't and uh, I'll say again uh, as I said in uh, previous iPhone videos and a few other uh, phone videos that I've actually repaired don't try to just get the glass and uh, just replace that it's next to impossible with the tools that you've got at home so just get the uh, one where the digitizer and the uh, LCD are actually already come combined don't try and uh, do it cheaply by just getting the uh, front facing uh, glass here because you won't be able to do it properly not at home without any specialist tools anyway and we get the normal complementary bag of uh, screwdrivers and plastic picks and pry tools that you normally get with a kit like this off eBay. So we're going to start off with this small pentalope screwdriver that we've got in the kit then and we're going to remove these two screws here and here. So now that we've got those two screws removed there's actually nothing else holding the uh, screen in place to the uh, body of the iPhone. So uh, what we've got in the kit is one of these little uh, sucker uh, tools here that you can use to uh, put on the screen and hopefully lift it up but unfortunately because this is quite cracked it can't get a good grip in there now you want to actually pry it from the bottom here and lift it up in that direction you don't want to lift it up directly towards yourself because you've got ribbon cables connecting it at the top here so you don't want to rip those out so you want to be really gentle get a pry tool in at the bottom here and then gently peel it up and over so what you want to do is get your pry tool and just try and gently get it in between the screen and the frame of the iPhone itself so you can start peeling that screen back.
so the trick is to be really gentle and take your time especially with a smash screen like this you don't want to get shards of glass everywhere so next we're going to have to remove this metal shield here it's actually covering the uh, ribbon connectors underneath so we're going to remove the Phillips head screws here here and here so we can lift the shield off and place them on your drawing so you know exactly where they go at the end so once you've got the screws out just lift the shield away and then you're left with the uh, little ribbon connectors here you can just use this pry tool again and just get underneath them and gently pop them out and that's the screen removed now if you've purchased one of these fully populated you can just do the reverse of that and click all the uh, ribbon cables back in pop that shield back on and uh, you've completed the repair but because i haven't bought one that's fully populated i'm going to have to transfer all these parts onto my new screen so we're going to start by removing the hardware from the top of the uh, broken screen the camera and the uh, speaker etc so we need to remove these three screws here and we'll pop that on our drawing so we know exactly how it actually goes back and remove the little speaker and just use one of the uh, plastic pry tools just to help you peel that ribbon cable off the old screen for the camera So next I'm going to remove this backing shield here, there's three screws down this side, three screws down this side, the screws at the bottom and I'm going to remove the uh, home button shield at the same time as well. And you want to make sure that you place all these screws on your drawing in the position where you actually uh, remove them from on the screen because a lot of these screws are different sizes as well and if you mess them up then uh, you'll have real problems putting it back together again. So next gently remove the home button by actually applying force from the bottom here just to gently push it up and then very very carefully use your uh, little plastic pry tool again to actually lift that ribbon cable off. It's just held down by some double sided tape again and that connector should pop out and then you can set that to one side. And finally we need to remove the uh, ribbon cable for the uh, home button connector here it actually runs down the full length of this shield and again using the plastic pry tool being really gentle to tease that up so now we can lift that shield off so we can transfer it onto our new screen and depending on the replacement screen you've got you may have to uh, remove these uh, plastic housings here for the camera etc it really does depend on the screen you've purchased sometimes I've purchased a screen and these are actually included but uh, this screen that I've actually got they're not so we're gonna have to transfer this and this over there as well and again use your plastic pry tool gently tease them off so now we're going to populate the new screen so it's just a reversal of what we've previously done remember to remove this uh, plastic um, protection off your screen and also this one that I've purchased they've put this barcode on here as well I don't actually like that but uh, I'm not going to attempt to remove it because it's stuck down there quite firmly but uh, I don't really know why they've done that because they've marked their own uh, little mark here to make sure that it's their screen if I do send it back I don't like that at all so the first thing I'm going to do is pop this shield back in place so we need to tuck down this ribbon cable so it lays flat underneath the shield and this has actually got a little bit of uh, double sided tape on here so I'm going to remove that fold it down and then put the shield back on top and fixing the screws down the sides and just remember to do yourself a favour and do not over tighten those screws so next I'm going to put these uh, two plastic housings onto the new screen now these don't have any uh, double sided tape on them and you can just place them and uh, have them uh, sitting on there and the camera etc will hold them in place with the ribbon cables over the top but uh, if you've actually got a Pritt stick you can just lightly rub it onto a uh, Pritt stick and then place it down on your new screen and the Pritt stick will actually uh, just be enough to hold it in place so you don't have to worry about it too much when you're attaching the new ribbon cables 
Now when it comes to fitting this top ribbon cable in place you want to look out for this hole in the ribbon cable and this little notch here that's on the new screen. You want to line those two up and also you should have some double sided tape already in this area here and you want to position this down first. So next you want to fold the uh, ribbon cable for the camera back slightly and you want to get these two into those two positions there. So next we're going to put the speaker in place and we've got the speaker here that needs to go into its little cutout boot there. And then we need to fold the ribbon cable for the camera back over the top and these little contacts here make contact with the contacts on the uh, speaker. And then we just need to put the shield back in place and the screws to hold all this down. So that's the uh, top part of the phone all repopulated. Now before we move on to the home button, um, all this just clicks together nicely and lays nice and uh, flush and flat. If it's not going together and you're finding you're having to put a little bit too much force to actually uh, try and get this flush, you probably haven't got everything lined up properly. So double check that first because everything just uh, kind of slots together and precisely and there's not much tolerance. So if it's not laying flush, you probably haven't got it lined up properly. So now we're going to fit the home button on the new screen and this ribbon cable here, I've positioned that back into its position there. There's plenty enough uh, double sided tape. You don't have to add any, it will uh, do a good job of holding that in place. And the uh, home button itself is the same, it's all quite uh, sticky around the side still. And also take the opportunity to clean up around the uh, edges of the home button as well. Clean any crud that's built up there. And as I say, the ribbon cable should have plenty of uh, adhesive already on it. And again, we've got a little hole here that we actually need to line up with a uh, peg on the new uh, screen here. So everything helps you get everything lined up properly. And just a uh, little bit of pressure just to get that uh, double sided state tape stuck down again. And then we can just fold over this connector and then connect it back up. And then finally pop the shield back on and the three Phillips head screws that hold it down. So now we're actually ready to fit the uh, screen in place and connect all the ribbon cables up. I just want to show you one last thing that a lot of people miss out on the videos and it confuses a lot of people when you're trying to follow along to uh, do this repair yourself. Now what we actually need to do is pull these three ribbon cables out of the way. This is the ribbon cable for the uh, speaker and camera etc. Fold that back like that and then the rest of the ribbon cables, the two screen ones, go down over there. So you've got your digitizer and your LCD connector there. Then this cable folds back over the top of there. So it kind of locks those two ribbon cables in place. And then you've got your uh, ribbon cable here for your home button. That just lays on the top there. And now they're all lined up, ready to connect into the correct position. And when you're actually connecting these little connectors, it doesn't need a great deal of force to actually uh, put it in there. Sometimes you'll just feel the click through your finger. Sometimes you'll actually hear it, but uh, it does not lead a lot of force at all. If you're having to put too much force in, then you haven't got it lined up correctly. So now we just need to put that shield back on and the screws to hold all these in place. So just prior to actually uh, fitting the screen back onto the uh, iPhone, just get yourself a cotton bud dipped in a little uh, isopropanol or surgical spirits and just uh, go around the edge of the frame there and get rid of any uh, grime and dirt that might have built up in there just so your screen will fit nice and flush in the frame itself. And also, as I said at the beginning, make sure there's no uh, dings or uh, bends in there. Make sure it's all nice and straight and clean. And fitting the screen back in place is just a reversal of how you actually removed it. So hold it at a uh, slight angle and get it slotted in at the top there. And then gently work your way down, getting it seated back into that frame. And again, it shouldn't take a great deal of force to actually get it seated in place. And finally, to hold the screen in place, you just need to reinsert the two screws at the bottom here. 
So this is the repaired iPhone back together and working as it should and uh, one thing uh, that I want to note is uh, I forgot to mention is just uh, when you first actually plug the new screen into the phone um, just prior to you permanently fixing the screen in place it's always a good idea to give it a little uh, power on test just to make sure that the screen is working especially when uh, you know a lot of these uh, cheap screens on uh, eBay they're made in bulk and there's a lot of failures so just make sure that uh, it does work prior to actually finishing the uh, repair off but this screen I'm happy to say does work uh, perfectly fine it's got no sim card in it at the minute but um, as far as the digitizer goes and the screen itself it all works fine so uh, hopefully you found this little repair video useful and uh, if I did miss anything out that uh, you've come across when you're uh, repairing your own iPhone please let us know in the comments and if you've got any questions or comments please let us know again and if it was useful to you please give it a thumbs up and hopefully you'll join me on the next one